Happiness is like a butterfly which, when pursued, is always beyond our grasp. But, if you will sit down quietly, may a light upon you. Nathaniel Hoffon, born Nathaniel Hathorn, July 4, 1804, May 19, 1864, was an American novelist and short story writer. His works often focus on history, morality, and religion. He was born in 1804 in Salem, Massachusetts, to a family long associated with that town. Hofan entered Bowdoin College in 1821, was elected to Phi Beta Kappa in 1824, and graduated in 1825. He published his first work in 1828, the novel Fenshaw. He later tried to suppress it, feeling that it was not equal to the standard of his later work. No man, for any considerable period, can wear one face to himself and another to the multitude without finally getting bewildered as to which may be the true. I cannot endure to waste anything so precious as autumnal sunshine by staying in the house. Love, whether newly born or roused from a deathlike slumber, must always create sunshine, filling the heart so full of radiance that it overflows upon the outward world. Words so innocent and powerless as they are, as standing in a dictionary, how potent for good and evil they become in the hands of one who knows how to combine them. I have laughed in bitterness and agony of heart, at the contrast between what I seem and what I am. She wanted what some people want throughout life, a grief that should deeply touch her and thus humanize and make her capable of sympathy. Every individual has a place to fill in the world and is important in some respect, whether he chooses to be so or not. We men of study, whose heads are in our books, have need to be straightly looked after. We dream in our waking moments and walk in our sleep. No summer ever came back, and no two summers ever were alike. Times change and people change, and if our hearts do not change as readily, so much the worse for us. There is something truer and more real than what we can see with the eyes and touch with the finger. Hold thy peace, dear little Pearl, whispered her mother. We must not always talk in the marketplace of what happens to us in the forest. Our Creator would never have made such lovely days and have given us the deep hearts to enjoy them above and beyond all thought, unless we were meant to be immortal. Be true, be true, be true. Show freely to the world, if not your worst, yet some trait whereby the worst may be inferred. It, the scarlet letter, had the effect of a spell, taking her out of the ordinary relations with humanity and enclosing her in a sphere by herself. When an uninstructed multitude attempts to see with its eyes, it is exceedingly apt to be deceived. It is very queer, but not the less true, that people are generally quite as vain, or even more so, of their deficiencies than of their available gifts.